what is going on guys uh, welcome to the first uh, object oriented python python or python oop i congratulate you guys uh, to coming all this far with us so this is a new videos in a new playlist as i said to you guys in the um, when i was doing the regular expression so this is a new playlist playlist and uh, this is a new um, subject and uh, this is advanced uh, part of the python you guys need to learn about the objects and uh, classes all right so when you guys you guys gonna hear this uh, phrase oop or uh, it stands for object oriented uh, python a lot everything keep in mind everything is inside the python is objects so what are uh, these objects and uh, in plain english we say that the objects are like things around us we can see what what you guys can see you go, we can see around us is the trees we can see cars we can see houses we can see streets we can see road we can see say for example moving animals pets we can see cats dogs whatever you guys gonna see they are objects it means they are things so objects has the two things the objects has a state first to begin with and it has a name color whatever attributes you can you can you can think of and it has a behavior what's the behavior they can uh, be talking running uh, screaming whatever you guys can think of that's a behavior so keep in mind every objects the two things that they have they have the state which are they have a name they have a color they have a body they have whatever and they have a behavior and what's the behavior is just like a functions they are talking they are running inside every car they see they have uh, they braking they are uh, uh, moving fast so that's the, the car's behavior and uh, the car has a name say for example the car or bus or truck has a name as has a color it has attributes so that's the object so definition uh, what is the classes classes are just like a blueprint or prototype of for an object say uh, even whenever you guys want to create something in a in a, in a factory or whenever you guys design something you guys need to put a blueprint first first and foremost you guys need to put a blueprint or map of that uh, of that thing that you you guys want to build say for example you guys want to build a house you guys need the map first you guys need the area of your area and then you guys going to think how i'm going to build my house is how tall is going to be how many bedrooms how whatever you guys going to do that's a blueprint uh, or that's a prototype so every time you guys want to build a car you guys need to put a prototype of that object of that car you guys just can't build up a car that is coming from out of the production line and you guys expect to say make a, a hundreds of thousands of that car or make millions of that car no you guys first the first and foremost is you guys need the prototype of that of that car so once you uh, it, it goes from the prototype and it goes, gets tested everything then it goes in the production line classes are exactly the same you guys uh, need to put and make classes in the object oriented programming for the objects and that this class is going to be your blueprint and it's going to be your prototype you guys are going to make one class and you guys are going to see everything is all good then you guys are going to go for another class so the objects again objects are instance of the classes that are defined by class initialized by class constructor and we're going to see the constructor in the next video and what are methods methods are like functions with the functions you declare outside the class so far we have done functions but with the functions we have uh, declared outside there was no class involved in our functions say we have put a one function Koraya word or function xyz but you guys didn't see any classes around because that function was outside the class and it's a function when it comes inside the class we call it method okay so as i said to you guys a, a class has a state uh, say for example a uh, variable one variable two variable three uh, we refer to instance variable or class variable unless we specify and uh, it has a behavior say as uh, class has a first of all it has a state and it has a be behavior and uh, that was a behavior it has a method and it has a method too keep in mind in uh, most of the language the class variable we call it static 
is when it comes the when you put up static it becomes a class variable and here we has a method every class has a one not one just one method it has a thousand some classes have hundreds of methods depends on the situation how many th met met methods you guys want to create say for example you guys want to put a class car then you guys need to make a lot of methods there so the methods are going to be driving the stopping method the door how many door it has you guys need to define the door you guys need to define everything the driver's seat engine inside the engine you guys need to put a radiator you guys need to define all sorts of the functions our methods inside the, the class car so here is the example of the python just like functions we put a def and we put the name of the function and it's gonna come here like this then with the classes you guys don't need don't need to do parentheses and you guys just put your class and you can put all your statements here all right so keep in mind that there is something called self and uh, you guys need to put with your class methods every time you guys need to you guys putting your method you guys need to put the um, uh, self here so self self is very important say for example if you guys have a method you guys need to put a self self is the way to access the class so the classes are uh, accessed via the self don't forget to put the self because uh, soon with the constructor we're going to use the constructor and uh, with the constructor if you guys don't define your constructor the say the python is going to create the constructor by itself it's going to call default constructor but if you guys want to make say for example big uh, large scale uh, programming you guys need to define your constructor or you guys, if you guys want to overload your constructor then you guys need to put your constructor all right so as i said to you if you don't put your constructor python is going to create it for you and i'm going to show you how and uh, you guys need at least one parameter here and this parameter is going to be the self so we're going to create a class person and uh, we're going to get the data of the person say we're going to see the person's attribute the person has a name and uh, as i said to you guys here 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 so the persons have a name and uh, the persons uh, say we're going to put uh, some sort of behavior for the person and uh, we're going to get some sort of uh, data from the person and we're going to declare the persons have a name through the class and um, make sure you guys don't forget to put this uh, self and i'm going to show you guys how and uh, class definition uh, has functions uh, but can also have other members and uh, and another one is that you guys need to remember the attributes of the object is the data attribute and the function that belongs to the object is a method say for example we have a class person i'm going to come down here and i'm going to put a class and i'm going to put a person i'm going to put a class person okay now my class now the python knows now that there is a, something called class person and uh, i'm gonna put a, a function our method i'm gonna put a get info so i'm trying to get information about the uh, the person and keep in mind as i didn't do anything with the python type itself because itself that refers to the constructor to, to the class and every method had at least you guys can uh, access the class through this one so keep in mind and um, now we're gonna put a self and dot uh, we're gonna put a name and uh, we put an equal then we put an input that we already know what input is and we put an enter your name enter your name okay so we're getting enter your name and now we put a self dot age we put a input and uh, we put a enter your age we put a enter your age you guys can put many other attributes you guys can put a height width whatever you guys want to put and uh, here you guys need to put this one inside the int so we're gonna put an int here because uh, age is an int all right so you guys can uh, can put many many things in, enter your height say for example enter your address uh, enter so i've just put a two say for example uh, name and age 
is that's because you guys need to put attribute name and age so uh, you guys can put many more information up to you but uh, i'll just put a two and uh, now because i put a get info now i'm gonna put a print info so i'm gonna put a print and the print info all right so keep in mind as as we are typing the C, uh, the python putting itself the self so keep in mind here now we are accessing this one we can get the data from the person class person and, um, and i'm going to show you how uh, we're going to print everything here so for example now we're going to come here and we put a print and our print is going to be say uh, your your uh, name is and uh, now uh, this comes in a tr tricky part if you guys know that uh, we used to put the, the here the variable here you guys don't put that one you guys gonna put a self we put a dot name and uh, the same goes with the uh, age we put a print and we put a, your age is and uh, we're gonna come here we're gonna put a self dot age as I show you guys before as I said to you guys before you guys can um, put your special variable here you guys can create your main but we're gonna create that one later on but now you guys need to understand this few lines here there is a class here we have a method we have a get info we have a self here self dot name and we're getting the information from the user and uh, we're getting the information about the age and here we have another method here we just want to keep in mind look like exactly like a function but the only difference between method and the function is that that functions outside the class and methods inside the class all right so now you guys need uh, some sort of uh, because we, as i said to you guys the python is going to put a default constructor you guys need your uh, objects and uh, objects uh, say for example person we put a person obj for example this person obj is like object so how we're gonna do that you guys need to put a equal sign here and uh, put the name of the class and the name of the class here is a person okay so now this person object so person obj is gonna can access so we, what we're gonna access that we're gonna access all the info say for example we're gonna get the, uh, this guy here get info so we can access this info get info inside and uh, then we're gonna we can access uh, the print info here so object and then we're gonna put a print info all right so now we're gonna our program is ready so we're gonna see all everything we're gonna get information from the user we're gonna display the information and uh, this functions this method is gonna do here uh, and here we have instantiated this one our uh, or here so objects are uh, instances of the class keep in mind here we looking here the name here in the name here is matching and uh, here we have a method here and this one here keep in mind we have a dot here through this dot we can access all the methods here so now we're going to run our uh, first program inside the object oriented and we put a first class and our first class is going to be here and uh, we're going to say enter your name and now i'm going to put a, my name is qd enter your age i'm going to put a 30 and uh, you're going to see that the enter your name is uh, qd enter your age is uh, 30 how cool is this so now you go we can do is say for example we can do for example corio uh, would uh, enter your age is gonna we're gonna put a 40 so your name is uh, corio wood and your age is 40 we have uh, done this one for many many times before but uh, that was only for procedural programming in the past if you rem all remember we have uh, done our uh, functions here all our functions we have uh, 
done everything but that was not the uh, object oriented way that was uh, just a procedural way this is the object oriented so when you guys come here and um, define your uh, when you put your class and uh, where you put your methods here so you can put and you can make up any methods you don't have to put a uh, info or uh, print info you guys can uh, can can do anything you guys like you guys can set info or you guys uh, can say get info so setters and getters inside the java c plus plus or any other object oriented programming so but in python the only makes something that makes python unique is a self every, every time you guys need you guys have to put the self with every method inside the class because this self is referring to the class and you guys can access to say self is myself or self serve that's exactly the same true with the method and this is we guys now connected to the class and you guys can access the class through the self all right so and there is something called uh, constructor and that was going to come in the next video and i'm gonna we're gonna go through the constructor because the python constructor is a little bit different from the c plus plus and java and php constructor they're a little bit uh, different but uh, for now you guys need to know that there is a class and uh, here you guys need to put a, a define your methods here and methods when you declare inside the class it becomes a method when it's outside the class it becomes a function and uh, you guys need to put a self but outside the class if you remember we did never put a self here keep in mind uh, we can call this one as a method and some people call it as a class members so it's better you guys get used to the both and uh, we have a method here our uh, class members and so here we have uh, we are instantiating our um, objects here and uh, because uh, objects are instances of the class and keep in mind we are accessing our methods through the dot this uh, dot is uh, everywhere not just uh, python we can find find it inside the c c plus plus you can find it inside the php javascript every programming language whatever you can you can think of inside the ruby uh, when you when you guys want to put a dot here it means you guys can uh, access your methods here so we didn't do anything we just put a dot here now we when we run you guys can access everything inside this uh, methods here all right guys uh, that's it for this video if you guys have any question or comment leave in the comment box otherwise i'll see you guys in the next video and bye